what is a Hyperloop? Because people don't really know yet. Of course. Well, our approach is that we are like a train at the beginning, but then we float like an airplane. Imagine a capsule. Mm -hmm. This capsule has 28 people. You put this capsule inside a tube, then you suck out the air from the tube, so there's no resistance. It's like space, right? Mm -hmm. Now you can push the capsule, and this capsule will float for miles. Mm. You remember when you were a child and you were playing magnets? Yes, when they, they repel? Exactly. We put it and they basically repel. And that allows you to actually transport people and freight at mm. almost the speed of sound using a tiny fraction of the energy. So we could go from Oslo to Copenhagen like in 30 minutes? Maybe less. Maybe even less. <laughs> have to repeat the same mistakes of the past, right. trying to solve one problem and create another 10. Right. The Hyperloop has an amazing possibility, mm. can produce energy with renewable energy, yes. with solar panel, wind, kinetic energy, can actually produce up to 30% more energy than we consume. Uh, right. And so, so energy positive transportation. Energy mode. positive, you can give it to, to everybody for free. I see. And this is our vision of the world. The Norwegian Green Party has put into its program to uh, start a partnership and feasibility study between Oslo and Copenhagen. Fantastic. What, Let's do it. What, what, how would that look? Now we have the experience to come to the government and actually offer a feasibility study. We mm. will pay half of the price of the feasibility study. Okay. We have requests from 140 countries. 140 <laughs> countries. I see. So we need yeah. to go in places where they are really committed. Really? But the uh, yes. reality of the fact that this cost can be absorbed when we go into construction. Mm. So in reality, it's just a commitment that we ask. In Norway, the integration with Europe is very important. Is there anything That's happening in Europe? Absolutely. That's fundamental. We have signed deals with France, Czech Republic, Slovakia, uh, Spain. Uh, the, Europe is very active into the Hyperloop. The, the German did a very uh, profound due diligence on our technology and mm. they realized that it's not only real, but it's happening right now. Wow, so when the German engineers are getting um, convinced that maybe even uh, the Norwegian engineers should uh, start to rethink. My partner is German, so I, I partner with him for this reason. <laughs> In a capsule, um, the capacity is rather small. Oh, How would you? Uh, the opposite. If you depart every uh, 40 seconds, you have 3,000. So one every 40 seconds. Yes. Is that your idea? The, if you go at the speed of sound. Mm. If you go slower, you actually increase the amount of traffic. You have 3,400 people an hour, 67,000 people a day in the low fork because we have capsule also of 40 people. Mm. It means 128,000 people a day, 24 million people a year. To give you an idea, we can substitute the entire flight industry between Los Angeles and San Francisco four times with one tube. One. But yeah. we can put up to seven tubes on the same pylon. Ah. So now we are talking about a throughput of more than half a billion people a year. Mm. So when we are talking about <laughs> throughput, there's nothing in a scale okay. up more than the Hyperloop. Uh, the Green Party has put in this program to gradually uh, turn down uh, the activity in the Norwegian petroleum industry Finally. before we are uh, forced to do so right. by market forces. But do you think that we could utilize that competence in building a Hyperloop infrastructure? Of course, we can re-employ these people. But the reality of the fact in 40 years, 50% uh, of the jobs will be gone and not coming back. In the petroleum industry, yeah? In every industry. Mm -hmm. Now, you can believe it or not, it could be b um, worse or better, but we need to stop to base our uh, planet on the concept of consumption and job, 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 uh, without uh, really rethinking about our, our economy that should be based on abundance mm -hmm. that can actually unleash the human potential using the new technologies, uh, things that are more efficient. Mm, absolutely. So that's what we're working for with the Green Party. And also, I think uh, the unique competence that the Norwegian petroleum industry has in terms of creating tubes, pipes and also tunnels Fantastic. would be something that would be very complementary to the Hyperloop needs. That's why we are here. Yes. We have been accepting the invitation to come here because we have seen that Norway has a vision. Mm. And uh, I think this is one of the first countries in the world that is actually really thinking about sustainability in the right way. Well, I really hope your um, feasibility studies and uh, rollout uh, succeeds much quicker than uh, most people expect. It will.